look at this, Jack Hall. This chapter six. Chapter six, Dinosaur Volley. Annie looks at this, Jack called. Look what I found. Annie had gone up to the hilltop. She was picking a flower from the mango tree. Annie, look, a medallion! Shouted Jack. But Annie wasn't paying attention to Jack. She was staring at something on the other side of the hill. Oh wow! She said, catching her bag, snuggle flower. She took off the hill, down the hill. Annie, come back! Jack shouted, but Annie had to disappear. Oh brother! Jack muttered. He stuffed. A gold medallion into his jean pocket. Then Jack heard Annie shirk. Annie, he said. Jack heard another sound as well. A deep blowing, blowing sound like a tuba. Jack, come here quick. Annie called. Jack raced up the hill. Then she got top. He gasped. The lolly before. Below, below was filled with nests, the big nest made up of, of mud. The nests were filled with tiny dinosaur, and it was crushing next to the one tower over her. The, the giant the build dinosaur. Don't pack, Nick. Don't move," said Jack. He's the huge dinosaur, was waving her arm and making her tuba sound. This bit is not in this bit, is it? Oh, no. Jack stopped. He didn't want to get too close. To knelt on the ground toward me slowly, he said, and he started to stand up. Don't stand, crawl," said Jack, pushing her flowers. Annie crawled toward Jack, still blowing. The duck-billed dinosaur followed her. Annie froze. "Keep going," Jack said. Annie started crawling again. Jack inches further down the hill until Jack inches, but just a one. Arm a distant distance from Annie, he reached out and grabbed her hand. He pulled Annie toward her him. Stay down, Jack said. He crushed down to her, bow your head, bow your head, pretend to chew, chew to end. This to Jack. I read that was you. Do if do if a mean dog comes at you, she's no dog. Jack said Annie. Just chew, said Jack. Jack and Annie both bowed their heads and pretended to chew. Then the dancer grew quiet. Jack, look up. I don't think she's mad anymore. He said, "Save me, to Annie." Thanks, Jack. You can't just go running to, to nest a baby. There's always a mother. Hello. There, please. Annie stood up. Annie Jones said, "Jack, too late." Annie. Held out her milk and flour to the dancer. I'm sorry, I made you worry about your babies. She said the dancer moved closer to Annie. She grabbed the flour from her hand. She reached for another. No more, said Annie. The dancer let out a sad supper sound. But there are. More flower up there, and he said she pointed to the top of the hill. I'll get you some. And he hurried up the hill. The dancer rattled 
after her jack quickly looked at the dinosaur babies. Some were crawling out of their nest. Where are other where are the other mothers? Jack wondered. Jack took out the dinosaur book. Look, he flipped through the page. He found a picture of some duck-billed dinosaur. He read the caption. The, the Amplosaurus lived in Cunis, while a few mother babies sat the next other looked for food. So there were probably more mothers close by looking for food. Hey, Jack! And he called Jack. Look up. And it was the top of the hill feeding into flower to the giant Achillosaurus. Guess what? And he said, she's nice too. Suddenly, the Achillosaurus made her terrible tub of sound and crushed down the, and started to chew. The dinosaur charged down the hill. She would she seemed afraid of something. Jack put the book on top of her, his pack. He hurried to Annie. I wonder why she ran away, said Annie. We are starting to be friends. Jack looked around what he saw in the distance. Almost made him faint. An enormous monster was coming across the pain. Um, where's the nest? I saw the nest. Um, why is there, why is some baby running away? The monster was walking on two strong legs. It was swinging on a long, thick tail and dangling two tiny arms. It had a huge head and its jaws were wide open even from far away. Jack and could see it long, long, Gleaming teeth. Tyrannosaurus Rex, whispered Jack. Chapter 7, ready, set, go. Run, Annie, run, cried Jack. Run to the tree house. Jack and Annie dashed down the hill. Together they ran through the, the tall grass and ferns. They passed the Peter Rano Dawn. They scrambled up the rope ladder and tumbled into the tree house. Annie leaped to the window. He's, it's going away, she said, panting. Jack pushed his glasses into place. He looked the, out the window with Annie. The Tyrannosaurus was wandering off, but the monster stopped and turned around. Tuck, said, Aunt, said Jack. But the two of them took their head. After a long moment, they peeked out the window again. Close, clear, said Jack. Yay, whispered Annie. We have to get out of here, said Jack. You made a wish before, said Annie. Right, said Jack. She took a deep breath. I wish we could go back to Frog Creek. But nothing happened. I said, I wish there started Jack. Wait, said Annie, you were looking at the picture of John's war book, remember? Oh no, I left the book and my pack on the hill. Said Jack, I have to go back. Forget it, said Annie. I can't, said Jack. The book doesn't belong to us. Plus my notebook with all my notes in my pack. Uh, am I? Okay, okay said Annie. Oh, hurry, hurry, said Jack. He climbed quickly down the ladder 
ladder and leaped to the ground. Jack raced past the Peter Rand O'Don, through the fern, through the tall grass, and drew up the hill. He looked down, his pack was lying on the floor, ground on top of it with the dinosaur's book. But now the valley below was filled with all the stores. He was all standing guard around the nest. Where have they been? Did fear of the Tyrannosaurus Rex source send them home? Jack took a deep breath. Ready, set, go, he thought. Chapter 8 A Giant Shadow. Jack jumped Lee, behind the McLeod tree. His heart was beating so fast he could hardly think. He peeked out the giant monster, the hairball looking tree- creature was opening and closing its huge jaws. The teeth were as big as a steak knife. Don't panic, thought Jack. Then he peered down at the wally good. The duck built dancer sticking close to the nest. Jack looked at it, back at the Tyrannosaurus. Good, the monster still didn't seem to know he was there. Don't pack my thing. Think maybe there's information in the book. Jack opened the eyes. The dinosaur book. He found Tyrannosaurus Rex. He read Tyrannosaurus Rex was one of the largest meat eating land animals of the all the time if it were live today it could eat a human in one bite wait thought jack the book was no help at all jack tried to think clearly he couldn't hide on the other side of the hill the other stores might stampede he couldn't run to the tree house the Tyrannosaurus might run faster. Maybe he should just wait for the monster to leave. Jack peeked round the tree. The Tyrannosaurus Rex had wandered close to the hill. Something caught Jack's eyes, and it was coming down the rope ladder. Is she not? Is she, what is she doing? Jack wondered. Jack would watch his hand. And he hopped off the ladder. And he hurried over to the Peter Ran O'Don. She was talking to him. She was flapping her arms. She pointed at Jack at the sky, at the treehouse. She is not, thought Jack thought. Go, go back up in the tree, Jack whispered. Go, Jack heard a roar. The Tyrannosaurus Rex was looking at his direction. Jack hit the ground. The Tyrannosaurus Rex was coming toward the hill. Jack felt the ground shaking. What should I do, Jack wondered. Should I run, crawl back into the dinosaur valley, find them? Climbed the mongol tree. Suddenly, a giant shadow covered Jack. He was looking. Look, he looked up. The Peter ran out on was glittering overhead. Giant creature sailed top, toward the top of the hill. He was heading toward Jack. Chapter nine: okay. The Amazing 